Hey everybody, Shauna with Valkyrie here. Today I want to walk you through a few concepts that you might be unaware of when it comes to placing a very successful Facebook ad campaign. Because here's the bottom line, it's not as simple as just putting out an ad. You could have the best ad in the entire world, but if your process for ordering doesn't work, or if it doesn't look good, and if it's not built for lead capture, it won't matter how good your ad is. So I'm gonna walk you through some concepts that I think will be pretty helpful to you guys. So I'm gonna break down the anatomy of a couple different ads for you, but also tell you why organic ties in to these ads as well. So there's a few things that this ad tells us. First off, they have a link to purchase. They're also using an emoticon. And I have some stats about emoticons being used in status updates, and believe it or not, those are one of the biggest converters right now, just having this simple emoticon in a status update or another emoticon in a status update. I've tested this myself and I've found it to be very, very true with the other statistics that are out there. And I can break down those statistics for you, but that's gonna be a, di a different video. So you have the fan page here and you can tell this is an ad because it's sponsored. So anything that says sponsored underneath it means it's an ad. Now this little widget right here, with some ads, what you're going to see is just a, a circle of like the world, and, and that means that it's public. Now, what this page did that is incredibly intelligent was they targeted this specific ad to 16 interests, okay? Well, not the ad. They targeted this organically to 16 different interests, okay? So that helps with their organic reach in addition to the ad reach. So let's look at, you know, some of their results. If you go down here, you can see they have all of these different reactions, comments, and shares. Now the shares is where it's at because if approximately every single person on your social media networks has about 400 friends, just multiply 24 by 400 and that gives you a heck of a lot of reach. That's organic, not just with the ad spend. Now I'm gonna break down an ad for you similarly to this. Unfortunately, I can't break down this specific ad because it is still running, so I can't tell you how much was spent or what was done on it. But what I can tell you is a similar ad. And I'm gonna break down this process for you as well. So you have these color changing mugs. They spent $107.20 on this. Here's a link to where I can check the advertiser's URL, which is what I'm gonna show you next. This is gonna take me to the Facebook page, which then I'm going to click on the uh, actual ad itself because this is where we really get into the meat and potatoes of hey here's it here's what you can get for hundred seven dollars if it's targeted correctly and if you know your page looks good then you're gonna get conversions so that's where your ROI comes into play you have newsfeed ad mobile so they really only targeted it specifically to mobile ads in the newsfeed and then you've got their fan page, which you can check out as well. So this is another way that I do a heck of a lot of research in what I'm working on and you know, being able to provide this data to companies that work with us in a very, very methodical process. And you can see here, they ran this ad for 10 days. And another thing I tell you all often, longevity of ad matters. It matters a lot because you will always see in every single ad that I dissect a jump between day seven to day 10. And that's, that's your sweet spot. There's your money maker right there. So the most successful ads I see are run between 15 and 30 days with the biggest jump as it continues to climb from day one between day seven to 10. So you have to adjust your ad budget accordingly for that. They targeted specifically New York, male, between 35 and 54. And this is something that we break down in Audience Insights to help companies find what their sweet spot is. So let's take a look at their actual post, okay? If you go here, you can see the actual post itself. You can see all of the comments. And look at how this grew. I mean, this, this grew exponentially from what we were looking at here where it was 97 likes, 10 comments, 27 shares. When we go to the actual post itself, what do we see? Just because of those shares and that organic targeting, you're seeing 100, 1.5 thousand people reacting and 562 shares. 
So when we're talking about, you know, getting this done, it's important to target both organically and also to target uh, your ads. So it's, it's a dual process and it does take a lot of work. And this is something that it's rather challenging for most laymen to do uh, effectively. So let's go and take a look at their page, shall we? So a few things that are very, very no notable when it comes to their page and, you know, sh talking about their success because they do make quite a bit of money. They have free shipping for over $50. This is something that, you know, is, is valuable to most customers. And it also helps them get more. So they don't have to really kill you on the upsells or the add-ons or things like that because you already know you're going to get a deal if you spend more than 50 bucks, right? So you've got the morphing mug, which is what they are advertising. And, you know, very simple, very clean design, mobile optimized. That's very important as well. Some basic, you know, information down here. The fact that, you know, you have the guarantee that it's secure, letting people know that their data is protected. It's built on a Shopify platform. And then you have other things here as well that make it into a high converting actual page. So as you can see, all of these things work together in order to bring success. So when you're posting something, you've got to focus on it being organically targeted. Then you've got to focus on who you need to target for your ad and how to do that appropriately so that you're getting the best results. Because if ultimately you're getting people to share, you're posting something cool that other people are wanting to participate in, then you have the option of, you know, really getting and making the money that you're, you're looking to make with these things. So I, I look at it like this. Your ad in and of itself, your ad is kind of like a violin. Now, when you tie it in to your landing page and you tie it into your, your shopping cart, then it becomes more of a symphony because you're actually automating the entire process from start to finish. So I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, please love, like, share uh, with other people in your network, and uh, we'll be bringing you some more information very soon. Have a wonderful day.